Hello, and welcome to my new Minecraft series. This isn't technically a whole series by itself. Think of this more as a, um, a preview of what's coming up. So, what the series I'm hoping to do is a tour of my Minecraft world. Now, this Minecraft world has been around since version roughly beta 1.2. That's when I created the world, and every time a new version came out, what I did is I just went out a little bit further, built some more, did something new with the new stuff, and I did that three, three, they've got three major settlements that I have on this map. So what I'm doing for this um, preview is I'm building the rail. So you'll be there along with me as I build the rail and as I go back and forth, and some of the planning that's involved, there's a lot of planning that I found that I needed to do. Um, as you can see here, there's a marker there, that's part of the planning, and there's another marker out there, and it's sort of, we sort of see a bridge, you might be able to see it in the peripheral vision, but there's a bridge out there, and we're going all the way around, and then we're not actually that far away. If I bring up F3, our target is to get to around about 300, I think it was, and 115, I think it was, 116. My actual village is at 2,000 minus 3,000. So that's my latest village. So I've built all this rail all the way down to here. I've built it with the help of a um, an iron golem farm and all the iron and gold that I had to start off with. So I've got lots and lots of powered rail. I've probably got too much powered rail, actually, I found out. So I've got everything I need pretty much at this base here. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go down and I'll talk about some of the rules that I've gone through with my build. All right, so we start a new day. All right, so one thing I've found with doing this build is because I'm building out so far away from home, you do need to get going first thing in the morning. So I'll do a bit of a run around for this day to show you where I'm at and maybe fill in a few details while I'm going along to make sure I've got it marked out properly. So we're going to run the rail. So this is my brake rail. This is a bit of powered rail here to get me up the hill, and this is the brake rail where it stops. And later on, if I go, oh, I don't need this station, I can just make this into a powered rail, and boom, I just go straight past it. So there's my end, pay, end piece. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. Now, I haven't worked out exactly how I'm going to get down here, because the problem is we can't bend as we're going down. So, And because we need to do both here, it's going to make it complicated. So I think what I might do... You might bend to start off with this way, then go straight down, bend a little bit, then I might fill out a bit of dirt around here and then down here, which means I don't need this tree here. It's going to be in my way. So let's get rid of this tree. Um, what I have also been doing is if the trees get too... Um, too thick like in some of the um, tiger biomes, I'll just burn them down. I have got enough wood and it's an easy enough renewable resource. Alright, so this one's already cleared out as you can see I've done a bit of work here. Um, and all the excess wood, you'll probably start to see it just up on the right there. I've actually been piling up. It was just something I did for looks. It's absolutely help. Help doesn't help the rail at all to stack up the wood like that. It's, I mean, all that will fit in my inventory easily. But it just looks. I reckon it looks nice. It's just all the all the trees that have been chopped down. And I have seen this sort of stuff on you know older railway lines, more uh, you know ancient. I won't say that, but you know more than about a hundred years old. Those sorts of rail. Now this little island of dirt get rid of. We don't need that, it's only going to hinder us. And we end up with excess dirt, that's always not really handy. We don't really want excess dirt. So we come past here, now I believe we come down an angle here. And this is where we'll do, no, there it is. And this is where we'll do our first swamp crossing. Now I've already built the bridge here, as you can see I've filled it out, and I've even done sort of a style of, of bridge to hold it up. I mean, I could go a little bit more trouble and put some upside down steps in, um, and maybe I will, but the problem with, with the upside down steps is the water doesn't fill in, you'll have that water effect in front of it, so it doesn't look that good. Alright, so we'll come out across here, we'll go at an angle, and I reckon we will go across here. Alright, so some of the rules that have been, the reason I'm going around, rather than going through, oh, 
Extreme Hills is already on the edge. Um, rather than going through extreme hills and jungles and stuff like that and building tunnels, I've tried to make it a little bit more realistic, a little bit more authentic. So what I want to do is things like make sure there's only a certain gradient for the um, for the train to go up. So I can't just go straight up the edge of a cliff uh, or straight up the, you know, a one-to-one. -one. I've been going on a gradient of four across, one, two, three, four across, and then I can go up one. Now, obviously here I'm not doing that. But just up ahead, I will be doing that now. We're running short of food. Let's eat some of this beef. Put some more food in the hot bar. And let's start heading back. So I'm trying to go with a 4 to 1. I'm trying to make this as authentic as possible. I originally started off thinking I'll just make it, you know, sort of authentic. I'll go around a few bends and stuff like that. I'll keep it open view so you can see as you're going along. As I've been going, I've been thinking to myself, maybe... Maybe I want to make it a little bit more authentic than that, just to, rather than just, you know, have open views and stuff like that, let's make it do things like the gradient of 4 to 1. I think some of my rail actually has a 3 to 1 gradient, but I think I might change it all to a 4 to 1, which means that I'm going to have to go back to probably the first thousand blocks of my build and change that all to a new style. So I'm making this more like a train track, is, is my intention, rather than just a, um, a simple minecart. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start to dig this out and put in some cobble. So I'll grab those stacks of cobble, grab all of them. Um, I don't want to worry about the trail yet, although it might make life a bit easier if I do run some rails. So I'll put them in, take a stack of that and them with me. And I've got the bed, and I think I've got everything I need. Alright, let's go. Let's grab that, just in case I need it. Alright, so, this, I think, will step down here. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Digging down too deep. Let's... Put that in there, grab those two, put that there. Alright. Well, I've got to get used to this shovel. Um, actually, we want to start going off on an angle here. So my angle is basically just the usual zigzag. I just do two and go. Um, but here we'll need to go straight ahead. Because we need to go down. Mm, 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 that was no good. Oh. That isn't a gap down there. My eye is deceiving me. Uh, actually. One, two. Ooh, we need to go out another two. And that one down. And that needs to go out, and then we need to start to bend. We're going to need to fill in a bit of dirt around here. Okay, so let's put that there. And then that's going to come out here and start to go this way. And then we'll go down, I reckon, here. So that means we need to fill in up to here. So this is what we can do with our spare dirt. I don't need a mushroom. Pig, you can have the mushroom. You don't want it either? Alright, fine. Like that. Alright, let's put some cobble in here. See if we get a feel for it. Now, the other problem is, is with a zigzag like this, we need to make sure that there's enough power in the rail. So, what I like to do is leave a bit of a gap at each end. Actually, we'll put that there. And I'll take this one out as well to give me enough room to power that rail. Because I'll need to put power here. And powered rail won't go around a bend. That's the other problem we've got as well. So powered rail has to be straight. So that does limit what we can do with the railway. So along this stretch here, this can't be powered at all. I have to wait till an end bit. And there's a few examples further back on my track where I've had to either 
go out of pattern. I've had to come out and come back in so I can power part of it, or I've had to lift the pattern sideways a little bit so I can power it and then continue on an angle. And this is the other problem. We need lots and lots of cobble for this, so I'm constantly running out of cobble I've been finding, um, which requires, of course, more mining and other stuff like that, which also slows down and makes a very, very grindy process. But that's like when you need lots of iron. It becomes a very grindy process. Um, the good thing is, is I made a... Um, an iron golem farm to solve my own problem. Alright, so we are wanting to go out here. So I say we take this on a bit of an angle here. Okay, so we've got that going so far for us. Now hopefully to that and this Minecraft day we can get, no, it doesn't look like we're going to get much done. So as you can see this is a very very time consuming process and what I'll probably end up doing is a few montages. That's it. Alright, so my only option here is now is to go digging. Now, we know there's problems with digging for cobble in extreme hills. If you don't know what that problem is, it's that some of the blocks can come, come to life. We don't really want to deal with that right now. So that's it for this week. I'm done with the rail here. And if all goes well and there's enough likes on this episode, I will do a bit more of an episode about what I'm going to do about lighting it up, maybe some fences, protecting it from animals and things like that. And um, I'm going to do a full world tour starting in about um, three or four weeks' time. So I'll catch you then. <laughs>